Hello, welcome to Exotic Garden UK, Watch Chris Weekly. And on this week's episode, I'll explain to you why there are no Gunnery Manicatas here in the UK. So what are all growing here in the UK, and probably all of Northern Europe, is Gunnery Cryptica. This is the hybrid between Gunnery Manicata and Gunnery Tinctoria. And I'm going to explain how this has become the case, and how we've mislabeled the Gunnerys for over 150 years. So, you grow Gunnera, or you want to grow Gunnera, the plant with the huge, huge leaves that come out every spring and envelop a large area. One of the most spectacular, exotic looking plants you can grow in the UK and Europe. Well, you've probably heard there's two types, that there's Gunnera manicata and Gunnera tinctoria. I've done a video last year on the differences between Gunnera manicata and Gunnera tinctoria. Basically, overall, Gunnera manicata can grow much, much larger than Gunnera tinctoria, but both are very large plants. If you haven't already watched that video, I've put that in the description below and in the corner so you can see that and you have a better understanding of the differences between manicata and tinctoria. But what I'm going to say next probably throws that away and we've got a new type of plant that we're all actually growing and that is Gunnera cryptica. So Gunnera manicata was first sold in Europe in the 1860s and it was grown in many places including in Cornwall where today we see the biggest specimens of Gunnera anywhere in the UK because of their fantastic growing conditions. But what's happened over the last 150 years is that Gunnera manicata and Gunnera tinctoria have actually crossbred, hybridized and produced a new plant and this is what we now call Gunnera cryptica. And the original Gunnera manicata plants which are actually less hardy than tinctoria and cryptica have pretty much died out so we don't have any true Gunnera manicata anywhere in UK or Europe. Both Gunnera manicata and Gunnera tinctoria originate from South America with Gunnera manicata in the Atlantic rainforest habitat in southern Brazil and Gunnera tinctoria from Chile and southwest Argentina where it grows at the edge of forests and alongside rivers as well. So the hybridization between Gunnera manicata and Gunnera tinctoria happened probably very early on after the plant came here from South America in the 1800s and because the offspring are hardier they have survived the occasional very cold winters where they've been grown in the UK and Northern Europe. And it's not a hybridization program in terms of trying to make a new plant. This has happened spontaneously, basically by having Tinctoria and Manicata growing close to each other in a garden situation, which it wouldn't have been in the wild. They have just hybridized naturally and it's the offspring that look very similar in many ways to Tinctoria and Manicata that people have continued to grow on for all this last 150 years and call Gunnera Manicata. This gets more and more complicated because in more recent years, in the last sort of 10, 20 years, when people have been buying Gunnera Manicata from garden centers, almost certainly there have been Gunnera Tinctoria plants because Gun Gunnera tinctoria is a banned species and they've all been labelled as manicata. So if you've been buying Gunnera manicata over the last 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you've actually been buying Gunnera tinctoria. The real Gunnera manicata, which is what we often see in the southwest, which is the largest type of Gunnera we grow normally, is actually not Gunnera manicata, it's Gunnera cryptica. So it's very confusing. But I'm going to go through a few telltale differences between Gunnera manicata, cryptica and tinctoria. So if you've watched my video looking at the differences between manicata and tinctoria, that still stands. I mean, those differences are the ones you can see. But really what I'm describing is the differences between Gunnera cryptica and Gunnera tinctoria. The real 
Gunnera manicata still lives in its native habitat in Brazil, but it no longer lives in its true form in Northern Europe and the UK because it is really the hybrid Gunnera cryptica. But the differences between the three, there's many different aspects we can look at, but if we look at the length of the leaf stalk or petiole, in true Gunnera manicata, the length is up to two meters in length and it's sort of white to green in color whereas in tinctoria it's one to one and a half meters and it's sort of a pale reddish to green color what we have been calling gunnera manicata for many years in the uk which is really gunnera cryptica this is actually bigger than both tinctoria and manicata with the length of the petiole between one and a half to two and a half meters in length because it's got hybrid vigor and it is variable so it can lean towards the tinctoria side and it can also lean towards the manicata side so that's why it can start at 1.5 meters up to two and a half meters and the color is green to pale pink because it's got features of both manicata and tinctoria in its genes. When we look at the prickles on the petioles, this is another identifiable feature that we can look at and see the differences in the length of the prickles. So in true manicata, it is two to three millimeters in length for the prickles. For tinctoria, it is up to four millimeters. And for cryptica, they're actually longer at four to five millimeters. When we look at the outline of the leaf, in Manicata, it's a regular outline, it's a nice rounded shape overall. And in Gunnera tinctoria, it is more of an irregular outline and it's less than two meters across. In Cryptica, it is up to two meters across and the outline is normally variable, but it can be irregular. So I've mentioned earlier that we did have Gunnera manicata growing in the UK in the 1860s and onwards, but today we do not have the true species, and that is because of the hybrid of Cryptica. But why hasn't Gunnera manicata survived alongside Cryptica? Well, as alluded to earlier, it is not quite as hardy, and therefore over the last 150 years, during cold winters, we have had Manicata die off. And also, because Cryptica is a hybrid, and it has hybrid vigor and can grow much taller petioles and grow larger plants, then it's the preferred choice out of the three species for people to grow on in their gardens over the years so people have chosen bigger and bigger plants and that's been more likely to be the hybrid cryptica in the preference of instead of tinctoria or manicata now there are a lot more differences between cryptica manicata and tinctoria and all these are very detailed and shown in a paper that was published in British and Irish Botany, a new spontaneous hybrid Gunnera subspecies widespread in the British Isles with notes of the typification of G. manicata by Julian M. H. Shaw. And I'll do a link to this. It's a PDF file in the description below where you can see the full scientific paper looking at the differences and the history. And that's where I've got quite a lot of this information from to create this video so the link is in the description below so there's lots of differences i've gone through a few in this video thank you for watching this edition of exotic ghana uk join me next week where i'll be doing more in the garden